Hi there, I'm Jay Beard from Pixel Mage Games. We're excited to show you our first game, Hero Song. Hero Song is an action RPG set in a fantasy world that you create. You can play the game in single player or make your server public and up to 200 people can play with you in multiplayer. The game begins by you choosing the gods and goddesses that you want to bind to your new world. Each god has their own personality and things that they bring to the game. So by selecting different gods, you're going to change the world that you're creating in many different ways. If you choose Nay, the goddess of the oceans, you're going to have a world that has more oceans, lakes and rivers. If you choose Salea, the goddess of the forest, you get more forests in your world. The gods each bring with them the things that impact the formation of the world itself. The gods also bring with them the different races in the world of Hero Song. By choosing Salea, you're also putting elves in the world. By choosing Krell, the god of the mountains, you'll be seeing dwarven civilizations in your world. By changing the different prominence levels of the gods that you've chosen, you'll heavily influence the world that you're creating in many unique ways. No two worlds are identical, and by selecting the different gods, you'll end up with your own, very unique world. You also need to choose a god of the underworld. Hero Song is a really unique game. If you die, you go to the underworld, and based on the god of the underworld that you've chosen, getting out of there will be a difficult task that's completely different based on the god that you've chosen. Some gods will want you to offer a blood sacrifice on their altars, and some will give you dangerous monsters to fight, and still others will require a payment. But if you die in the underworld, your character is dead. Hero Song is a hard game, and having your character permanently die is an integral part of Hero Song. After you create your world, we generate the history of that world, beginning with the gods. We have an incredibly detailed simulation of history that creates bloodlines for the different races and we pass down different traits from generation to generation within those bloodlines so that the entire population of the world is created. The races each get their own homes, cities and towns and depending on how close they are to other civilizations in the world, we simulate wars and other world changing events including the creation of legendary magical items that are then placed throughout the world as a result of these events. You might have a legendary wizard who creates a mighty magic item, but is killed deep in a dungeon that he was exploring. Everything has a purpose. These items are placed there as a result of an actual event that happened in your world. The history of the world is chronicled in books that you can find throughout the world, and many of the NPCs actually know a lot about the history and will give you the clues of where to find the cool items that you want to go searching for. Now here's a look at some extended gameplay. We hope you enjoyed seeing what we have. Please look out for more. Thank you.